This attack stands out for its appalling, sickening cowardice. Murdered by evil losers in life. Isolation to Radicalisation is a theatre performance and workshop that's really designed to get people to think about what radicalisation really means, where people's attitudes come from, and whether or not there's anything that we can do to, I suppose, challenge and influence the way people think, and to try and encourage people to be less divisive, less hateful. Um, the theatre performance was designed after a lot of work with young people from within Manchester. Um, we'd heard people feeling very angry about the hatred they felt as Muslim young people, particularly after extremist attacks in the area. A lot of young people were angry about unemployment. Um, they were cross about things that happened in their life. I suppose there was a lot of young people feeling a lot of injustice. And we'd noticed that people were becoming more extreme in their views because of this. Now the theatre performance is very open and honest about these extreme views because we wanted an authentic conversation with the young people we work with. Um, the performance is around 20 minutes long. Um, there's three characters in the performance. Um, they all start as friends in a college setting. But as the performance goes on, uh, these friends are later unable to work together and to remain friends because of their attitudes. One of them's a Muslim male, one of them's a non-Muslim white male, and there becomes a lot of tension between these two males, and in the end they end up hating each other, um, and actually end up becoming radicalised. Things are going on in their life and society that really influences that. What are you watching? Who was that? They know more than you ever will. Come on, Jamie Barry, show me your skills. What you don't like playing when you can't make up your own rules? What if you're about your hats if they'll help you out? There's also a young female in the performance who's very much influenced by society's attitudes towards Muslim young women. It's gotten bad. People see a headscarf and think that means terrorist. These people, these terrorists, what they do? That is not a Muslim mindset. That's not my mindset. But why am I meant to feel like I'm them? I'm not them. One of the key issues about this performance is that all three characters end up extremely isolated and therefore very vulnerable. I asked them why they were laughing, but I knew this wasn't a joke I was in on. Hey! Leave me alone! Do you want something? They pulled down my hijab and spat at my feet. Asked how I dare walk the streets after what my filthy people have done, words after words, spitting out their mouths, dirty freak terrorists. I ran off. I was ashamed. The words started to stick with me though, I started to believe them. I felt dirty, wrong. We look at the issue of radicalisation as a safeguarding issue. It's really about young people with vulnerabilities being groomed. And this theatre performance invites people to come in and try out different solutions. What could we have done differently there? Could we have said something differently there? Could we have told someone? Could we have supported and helped them? Mrs. Bright, you said I can get a job. Yeah, but only people who actually need them. You know what I mean, Miss? People who are actually from this country, real British people. What do you want to talk about it, Miss? Is it not PC enough for you? Um, I'm not a teacher, yeah. but um, if I was, I think that would be a good opportunity to have a discussion within the whole class okay. about um, what is meant by why the terms being used in the discussion. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Could you try it? It's about people stepping in and trying out solutions and really using critical thinking to come up with ways for us to better work together in society in a less hateful and divisive way. So it's really about really specialist communication skills um, with young people so that they can then go on to do that in real life themselves. Mm -hmm.